to get your site online and live, you first need to save it before you can publish. Save is right up here. And this is the first time that you're going to give a domain name to your site. So it tells you that your site address is already going to be wix.com slash a username slash whatever you want to put next. I'm going to name it Portfolio. And when I press OK, it'll make that sound, which means my site has been saved. If I want to go to Settings, it'll tell me here that this is my site address. And this is the link that I'll be sending to friends and family. Also, this is what I can put on Facebook uh, to share with others. So this now, your portfolio is not officially live and online until you press publish. Nothing will happen if you continue to publish it, but it's only necessary to do that one time when your site is finished. So let's talk about what is required to appear on your home page. This is similar to what we would be putting on the cover of a binder. So we're going to put our name and a title for what all this is. It could be online writing portfolio or my works or whatever you would like, but give this site a title so we know that it is your collective works and uh, it's a site about you. So we're gonna go to add, of course, to put in our text and it's the first option right here. You can see underneath that we have titles, paragraphs, and notes. And for our name, we're going to use titles. And you're going to see uh, three pages of fonts to choose from that Wix offers. So go ahead and choose a style that you like. And make sure that this text box is going to be floating on the home menu. This is going to be on our home page. So when I move to my family page or if I navigate to another one this should go away so my home is highlighted over here this would be on the main page out here the master page and I want it to be here so I'm gonna double click type my name and if I click on this again I can go to edit and change the color and the size to something that maybe matches the site a little better and I can pull on these edges as well to change the size. Or if I go to edit, I can change the number up here. Just make sure your text is highlighted to edit different features about it. So I have my name, and I also want to include text online writing portfolio. So I'm going to add another title. Drag it over again, highlight it in yellow because I'm on the home page. Double click, online writing portfolio. I'm just going to move this over. Okay, so those are the basics with adding titles. Let's say, for example, I'm going to press save before I move on. Let's say, for example, on my family page, you notice my titles are gone. I want to add a paragraph here. If you go under text, it's our second option. And you can add just a text block. Just if I go to simple text, it just sets up a little paragraph here, a block of text that I can double click and type what I want. But I want to show you the paragraphs that have a scroll bar. These are kind of cool. I'm going to choose grid paper. To bring it over here and it gives me this graphic of paper but as soon as I fill up this little box I'm just gonna copy and paste to illustrate what I mean uh, I automatically get a scroll bar so this is a good tool instead of just filling up your whole page with text you can make a small box and then just scroll to read what you write one of the best features of Wix is the options that they have to add images. They have a really impressive library of clip art. 
So I'm going to show you an add pics when you're ready to put on more design and um, graphics on your pages. You can always upload your personal pictures. Just go to my pics, upload, uh, find it on your computer. Wix offers photographs as well. They have categories over here, just fashion pictures, just animal pictures. They're really nice photographs and they're free if you want to use any of those. But what I want to show you is the clip art over here. If you go to the clip art tab, there's 171 pages of odds and ends of cartoons, of graphics, um, silhouettes. Here's a cassette tape of Pink Skull. So you really have a lot of freedom, have a lot of choices to choose from. And the good thing is, is that these are all PNG. Also in clip art, we have shapes. If you go through this library, they all look blue until you can change the color of them. So if I want the air balloon right here on the side, which I actually really like, I'm going to click on it and change the color right here and make it black. And just like that, I have a graphic of a hot air balloon. If you go into icons, you're going to see all the classic icons that you see on web pages for Facebook, for a home page. Um, if you just go to types of buttons or icons, I can go to vintage. So you could just put here the Facebook sticker, which is kind of like a stamp, make it smaller. And let's say I, re I actually wanted this to link to my Facebook page. I'm going to click on it, go to link, and then under URL, here you will just paste the direction to your Facebook. So that's how you can link this image of the Facebook icon to your page. Also under clip art, if you search for home, they have different graphics if you want a home button on every page. So if I want this little house, which like I said, most websites have graphics like this. I could put this probably not on the pages inside. I would probably want this on my master, so it's just always in the corner. So it's always stuck, no matter what page I'm on. And again, I would just click on the icon here, press link, but I don't need to link it to a URL. I would be linking it to one of my Wix pages, which is the second option. And you, it just says linked to, and you select the page and say this icon always needs to take me home. Press OK. And press OK again. So if I preview, I'm going to navigate to school, and my home is down here. So I tested my home icon, and it's working. Now, the last thing that we have under clip art is animations. So the dancers are kind of cool because for all of these, they won't move unless you have music playing. So I'm just going to put David here on my site, here at the top, and I'm going to preview and see what David does when he hears my music. So pretty cool. Also they have under the animations speakers that just look like they have some bass going in them and they kind of pop a little bit. So all of the dancers, if you have music on your site, they'll kind of do some movement for you, right? Um, video effects, some of you would be really interested in that. I'm just going to put red spot here and put it in the corner. And you can see it just kind of splatters. So it's some cool animation to have on your site.